car driver Charlie Kimball, that goal starts here. Pit fit training on the northwest side of Indianapolis. Five seconds. We want to have prepared for anything, whether it's an accident, um, whether it's performance on track, whether it's recovery from an accident. We've dealt with all of it. Certified strength and conditioning specialist Jim Leo opened the gym 26 years ago to fulfill a need. Avoid open in preparation for open wheel racing. I saw something out there uh, that nobody else seemed to see and decided to go for it. The sports stage is like none other. So too are the ways these driving athletes need to be strong. The stress of that is amazing. And I think if you take the average person and put them in this kind of a situation for even a half of the time, they'll walk away physically and mentally exhausted. And, and our drivers, that's what they have to do day in, day out. They have to do that every time they get in the car because unlike a lot of other sports, this it could be their life. Leo says his program focuses on what you might expect. You don't get a break on the racetrack. The physicality of what goes on in the driver's seat. This is probably the worst one. But we don't come in and just do normal bench presses and squats and sit-ups. We're doing different movements that are particular and focused for what we do and need in the race car. When you're racing on track at 200 miles an hour, you're having to steer 5,000 pounds of downforce, 750 horsepower under your right foot. To make that work lap after lap after lap, because it's not the first lap that matters. Then there's the mind. Pit Fit Ready's drivers with visual and neurocognitive training to simulate the stimulus overload experienced when controlling an engine. You're obviously cheating death every time you get in the car. And so there, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, stress that goes on with a driver that they have to overcome. Being able to come here somewhere like Pit Fit Training that is creative and inventive, innovative, and tries to replicate what happens in the race car here in the gym is extremely valuable. I like this one. Kimball says he has found that to be true alongside some other big name workout buddies. We all have our strengths. Uh, Scott Dixon's heart rate never gets higher than most of us sleep at. Um, Tony Kanaan is, is great on the bike and, and quite a runner. Um, Alex Ro Xander Rossi you know, lifts some pretty big weights. Spencer Piggott lifts big weights. Scott, uh, James Hinchcliffe is a beast on the bench, but not quite as good on the squats and deadlifts. He may have a lot of racing celebrity company, but Kimball stands alone in at least one way. He is the first licensed driver with diabetes in the history of IndyCar, a diagnosis that stalled his career mid-season in 2007. Figuring out how to make sure that having diabetes isn't an effect doesn't have an impact on what I do on the racetrack and that starts here in the gym with the gear and a goal for a checkered flag on a Sunday in May. You're training your body, you're training your mind so that when you're in the race car, that's an easy day. It should be that the hardest day is in the gym so that when you get to the racetrack, it's easy in Indianapolis. I'm Drew Blair.